Greetings, citizens of Tamiel. I'm here once again with DSO. Um, I don't even remember where I was at. I need certification. Anyway, sorry, I was distracted trying to figure out where I left off. It's actually been a few days since I actually played. Um, so, my wife watched the first episode uploaded. This is like day three. The well, fog has lifted, Vestige. It's more like day five now of me doing all this. But uh, she watched it finally and gave me a few pointers. So hopefully things improve. She said that my first episode was a bit slow, so I apologize for that. Um, I did explain a lot and go into too much detail where I should just play the game and go for it instead of trying to guide people so I'm gonna start doing that and we'll see how that goes so episode 10 yay no more long episodes which hopefully I didn't kill my channel before I even started by doing that and again I'm also gonna try to keep this to about 30 minutes that way I can actually get stuff done in game um, I know that is kind of long, so. And again, I'm still working on waiting for the channel to kind of start rolling a little bit. I don't expect to have like 50 million subscribers by the end of the day, but I don't want to. unexpected guest message. My attempts to use the orb of discourse to locate Saisahan did not meet with success, so I decided to try a more direct approach. I used it as it was intended and contacted Abnathan. He admits that he knows Saisahan's location, but he will not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. We meet again, Vestige. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. Menimarco and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. But to find the Amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahan. Of course I do. And I might be willing to share that information for a price. If Menimarco learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. I'm a danger to him. I know too much. Therefore I, Abner Thahn, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane, formally request asylum. Do I look to be in a mirthful mood? There comes a point when even a Patriot's loyalty is stretched too far, when the things he has done, and has seen done, become too much to bear. Would that I could. As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner, in dire need of rescue. My proposal is this. If you retrieve me from Menemarko's fortress and grant me asylum, I will give you Sai Sahan's location in return. You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. But the facts remain, you need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan, and I must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. Neither of us has a choice. Thahn is quite correct. We have the choice of the matter. You can. How can we possibly trust him? As our visitor so eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Sai Sahan, we must do this. Go with the vestige, Lyris. Rescue Thahn. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise you. Oh, there was a book over there. I never noticed that before. But yes, my wife said that I need to kind of speed up the episodes. They're, they take too long. They carry on, and I rant and I rave. But that's pretty much who I am. I rant and I rave and poof, take forever. I am my father's son. You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor, a shantytown of Solshriven outside Menemarko's castle. As luck would have it, Menemarko is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. What a scheme. 
improvise, he says. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that skeeving horker. Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. And didn't he say this was a town of soul shriven? Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. But like I was saying before everyone started talking, was my wife gave me a few pointers on how to improve, so hopefully I can do that. Who are you? You don't look shriven. Are you one of those warm cult bastards? That's easy. All you've got to do is get captured, killed, and stuffed into a soul gem like yesterday's laundry. If you're serious, Cadwell could probably get you in. Might be too late, though. They just chased him into the guardhouse. Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell here? He certainly does get around. I do kind of wish I joined the Dark Brotherhood, because I could easily kill all these people with the Blade of Woe. Alive, Cadwell. Why can't I talk to you? I say, jolly good timing. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone. So, uh, how can I put it? Deficient in the soul department. Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. I mean, this whole eternal servitude business is rather nasty, don't you agree? Dibella's garters, why? Lovely grounds, no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Uh, the door is locked, but that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there and we'll see what's what? That might be our best chance to get inside. I like being able to go invisible because that helps get all the aggro and threat off of me and straight back to the tank. Forcing the tank to do their job. I uh, see a backpack. And I appear to be stuck. Oh, I can talk to you? You're not one of the worm cultists. Oh. What do you want? Why do you think I'd know? Because I'm an Imperial? We're all the same in this place. We're nothing but scum. She was named, so that was 
because most of them aren't named or you can't even talk to them. I can talk to her, which was weird. But I've also never really explored this place because I'm normally running through trying to keep up with my wife. Yes, I did just get turned around there. Leave it to the Daedra to fill a cave with bones and muck. You keep up nicely. I can't abide dawdlers. This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? The Daedra use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated, but in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep and you can slip inside. Well, I can handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? I actually Come never on. understood why he had to mess with those pipes until now. Well, he took out everybody but me. start doing other damage. I think I'm with these fire and all light things. This will get you inside with a minimum of fuss. So I have a 28.9% chance of critting. That's not bad. I was going for a more of a crit character. Again, with this build, I want to uh, be able to crit at least 50% of the time. This should do it. There you are. Quick as you please. There's even time for tea. A pleasure thing, nothing of it. The merest trifle, truly. 
You'll find this Tharn fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soul gems that find their way into the castle. Which is to say, well, uh, all of them. You'll see crates of the things scattered around the premises. Indeed? Well, I might just take you up on that. But safety first. I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to bugger up our little adventure from behind. Sir Carol will... came through again. That crazy night is starting to grow on... No, no, hear me out. How many thorns does it take to rule an empire? Would you shut up? I'm trying to work here. None. The one on the throne is a patsy, and the one in the tower isn't useful anymore. See, if I had the frickin' Blade of Woe right there, it would've been so much funnier. Let him finish his joke and then just come up and kill him. But I don't have it, so... Hey. A log. You! Hurry up! The worms are on the move. God? I didn't even see a projection of him. Most likely a banner. That's a walkie. I'm going to call shenanigans. So I'm curious of which one you guys would like to see first. What DLC you would like to see after I complete the main storyline. Would you like to see me join the Dark Brotherhood? Would you like to see me join the Thieves Guild? Maybe save the Orc Capital? What would you guys like to see? Let me know. I still got a while to go. And I think before I finish those, or get into those, I might finish the Fighters Guild along with the Mage Guild. Because I will join the Mage Guild, because I'm going to be using both magic and melee attacks with this character. Dang it, get off me! I forgot to talk to this guy. God dang it, Nappa. He didn't say anything. FML. Where is he? I wonder if I just broke the game now. He didn't there say anything. you are. 
I was beginning to think you were captured. We've a bit of a problem. The door at the top of the tower has sealed with a warded barrier. I've seen the worms use similar sorceries before. It will sear you to ash if you touch it. But here's a thought. The flesh atronachs that patrol the castle halls are assembled in a laboratory very close to the warded door. If you created your own atronach, it would be bound to obey you. That's you could force it to smash through the barrier. It's a simple process. A child of five could do it. Unfortunately, we don't have a child of five, so I'll be forced to walk you through it. You'll need some good-sized chunks of flesh. Take them to the laboratory, and I'll contact you there. So... did it respawn everything? Because I know you can find two up there. The answer is no. So I might have just broke the game. Go me. See. So I know there's two up here. I can't imagine how the worms get used to this. Ugh, not the most glamorous task, is it? Nope, that will be death. They're hiding some in here. I'm glad I noticed that prior. Like, I went all the way to the lab. It sounds like it takes a, a lot to make me ill, but this is getting there. This could be a problem. This could be a big problem. Wait. Move. Ah, yeah. uh, that don't count. There we go. Yay! Is that a lung? I didn't realize there was food in here. I got really worried there. That's definitely a danger heart. Put everything in the circle and we'll be. Not very big, is it? Oh well. Now cast the ritual from the book. Sorry, I will stop that. You guys are probably getting tired of seeing me run around. It's little Billy! Wow, he is tiny. Ha! We'll make a necromancer of you yet. Yeah, I wish. Bye, Billy. You were a good friend. You're not far now. Through the door and to the side. Through the door and to the side. Such amazing directions. Never gonna let that down. That sounds like a Wookiee. I know I said I would stop searching every little nook and cranny, but I can't help it. He said to the side. Uh, am I being an idiot? I'm being an idiot. There's the door. Maybe one should not play. ESO when one is tired. I 
very long day at work today, so I, I, I'm thinking I shouldn't be playing. So I might actually only do this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this one quest today. Plus, this quest is a lot longer than I thought it would. Worms. I'm working as fast as I can. So I wonder how he would explain this if we tried to rescue him, but we got killed in the process. So, we meet in person at long last. You look taller in your projection. And not a moment too soon. If I had to inspect one more bloody soul gem, I'd have thrown myself from the tower. A fair question. I know things. Things that can help you. Here's a bit to whet your appetite. Menemarco isn't doing any of this to serve Molag Baal. His ultimate plan is to out-scheme the God of Schemes and to replace him. The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything. Why do you think he kidnapped Sai Sahan? He's torturing him trying to get him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. Precisely. With the amulet at his command, Manimarko believes he can trap Molag Baal's essence and absorb his power. He seeks to become a god himself. I'd love to discuss this further, but this is hardly the place. Get me to a safe haven and I will tell you the rest. That was our agreement, was it not? Now, let's... Wait. Did you feel that? I freaking hate this fight. Just because there is a barrier, no, no, I always no. run into the barrier. No like telling my secrets. <coughs> Go to your room, Abner. I will deal with you shortly. Ah, dear Lyris. Your old position at the foundry is still available. I have we looking. even give you your own set of unbreakable chain. And you, the thorn in my side. The pebble in my shoe. How small are you? Can we test your limits? Apparently not as strong as I thought I was. Oh, infuriating. The process drains the energy from most victims, yet you keep fighting! Well, I kinda lack a soul. I wonder if this is what Sam Winchester felt like whenever he had no soul. Really? Get the fireballs to my face? Wow, he ran right into that barrier. Surprise me. That. How much more the can hell? you take, I wonder?
Manimarko, you dare attack the Chancellor of the Elder Council. His power wanes, Vestige. Strike him down, while his attentions are on me. How dare you betray me, Zahn! Your suffering will be legendary. Well, that's a... This mission's actually taking longer than he I expected. He will not remain discorporated for long. His consciousness will be adrift for a few moments, but that is all. Because Marco has delusions of godhood. He cares nothing for the Empire. He seeks only power. I've never done battle with him before. He's far more powerful than I imagined. Oh well. Too late for regrets. In for a bean, in for a beanstalk. First things first. We need to get out of here alive. We certainly can't go back the way you came in. I'd imagine they're swarming the grounds already. There's a refuse chute further down the path. It's a bit of a drop, but we'll probably survive. I'll see if I get lost again. You must be the ugliest princess ever rescued from a tower, Tharn. Hmm. I'm shocked your lack of education and repeated blows to the head haven't dulled your wit, Titanborn. Hello again! Need a way out? I'll have that open in just a moment. Okay, preservers, you're as battered and bruised as a peach in a sack of rocks. Bit of the old daring do, was it? No matter. You'll be needing an escape route, no doubt. Well, it's what I do, quite honestly. We should probably hurry it up. The entire castle is as bristly as a sack of sewing needles after all that noise. Come with you? You mean leave Cold Harbor? Well, I, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've seen the world I left behind. Do you, do you think it's wise? Well, that's, uh, that's settled then. And after all, you do need someone to lead you out of here. Onward! Just because I like Cadwell. He's one of my favorite characters in this whole game. Target is out of range. Into the shoot! Come on! Even better than Splash Mountain. And he just like teleports down. Quickly! I've opened another portal. Hurry! Get out of my way! Run! say everyone was kind of not there my estates my titles my own life it's all forfeit now all in the name of preserving the empire i swear by all the gods menemarka will pay dearly for this of course i am abnathan it will take more than a few brainless cultists to rattle these old bones now then where were we ah yes <clears throat> Truth be told, I don't know the precise location, but I do know that he is Manimarko's prisoner, and that the King of Worms is trying to pry the location of the amulet from him. Now, now, before you lose your temper, let me clarify. I don't know precisely where he is, but I can find out. I'll just need a little time. What? You son of a bitch! Bang! Ah, are you insane? Get away from me, you brutish she-troll! Lewis, stand down. He's done nothing but lie to us from the beginning. I don't care what he says. He'll always be Menemarko's toady. Please. Menemarko wants me dead. Did I pretend to capitulate to him? Yes, I did. Do you have any idea how many lives I saved by doing so? The only thing you saved was your holdings in your own hide, you pompous ass. Enough. Abner had no choice, Lewis. And we are guilty of our own deceit, are we not? The time has come for the vestige to know the truth. What's this? The Vestige doesn't know? Oh, this is rich. Sire, don't. Vestige, until now, you've only known me as the Prophet. But that is not my true name. I am Varen Aquilarius. Our fallen Emperor, in the tattered robes of a moth priest, blind as a newborn kitten. 
I am sorry I deceived bum, you, Bishop. Bum, bum. Not like you everyone saw that coming. It is to be expected. I was once, but no more. My name is Baron Aquilarius. In truth, I feared you'd kill me where I stood if you knew who I was. You certainly wouldn't have allied with us so readily. I caused this, all of this. If Merlock Ball destroys this world, the blame will be mine and mine alone. You must not blame Lyris. She did as I instructed. She's my sworn protector, but she is also your ally. You have my solemn promise, Vestige. When this is over, if you still judge me harshly, you can end my life. I will offer no resistance. We must find Saisahar. Everything depends on that. In this matter, nothing. Abner and I must confer. We will contact you again when we have more information. I did not foresee Abner's defection, but I welcome it. Manamako fears him, and with good reason. He can help us. I feel certain of it. Well, I just saved him. And I have three skill points because I leveled. So, come on. Check everything out real fast. Really don't need improved snake right now. So, I'm saving my points again. I thank you all for watching this episode. Um, I apologize for being so long and also for my previous episodes. Um being so drawn out so thank you for watching and have a great day